What's the best city to raise a family in Dallas? Stay tuned. I'm Keela McGraw, your favorite Dallas-Fort Worth realtor. And when you're thinking about moving to Dallas with a family, chances are you're trying to figure out which city should I be considering. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at the best five cities to consider when moving to Dallas with a family. We're pulling information from a recent niche.com article ranking these cities. When I saw this list, I was a bit surprised, but you just never know what comes out on these lists when they do these rankings and look at the data. So we're gonna look at these cities. We'll look at the location, the schools, the crime, shopping and retail, as well as housing options. So fifth on this list is the city of Murphy, Texas. So the size of Murphy is surprisingly small. It is only six square miles with about 21,000 people within those six square miles. And Murphy is a growing city. It is attracting residents. It's located north of Dallas and east of Plano. And you have easy access to the President George Bush Turnpike as well as Highway 75. You're about 35 minutes to Dallas Fort Worth Airport and about 40 minutes to Dallas Love Field. Your commute to downtown Dallas is about 40 minutes from Murphy, Texas and about an hour to downtown Fort Worth. Students who live in Murphy, Texas have the choice of two different school districts. You have Wiley Independent School District as well as Plano Independent School District. And honestly, both of those are great school districts, especially when it comes to rankings from the Texas Education Agency. So Wiley Independent School District received an overall rating of an A, 96 out of 100 from the Texas Education Agency. And it's made up of 21 schools and they serve about 18,000 students. Plano Independent School District is one of the higher ranking school districts in the Metroplex as well. They received an accountability rating of a B, 89 out of 100 from the Texas Education Agency. Plano Independent School District is made up of about 74 schools and they serve about 49,000 students. According to crimegrade.org, Murphy received an overall rating of an A when it comes to crime and safety. And when it comes to housing costs, the median price of a home as of May of 2024 in Murphy is $639,000. In DFW overall, the median price of a home is $386,000. The cost of housing is more in Murphy, but one reason for that is that there is a considerable amount of new construction going on in Murphy, Texas right now. Of course, when you look at all of these different variables as far as a great crime and safety rating, which usually that is something that is the top of someone's list when they're considering a city. You also have great schools, school choices when you're living in Murphy, and the location. We can't forget about that. Murphy is in a great location when it comes to proximity to the airport, as well as downtown Dallas. Fourth on our list is Flower Mound, Texas, and the size of Flower Mound is nearly 44 square miles, and there are about 78,000 people that live in Flower Mound right now. Flower Mound is also a great option as far as families to consider living. When you look at Flower Mound on a map, it's northwest of Dallas, and it actually sits in Denton County. It's west of Frisco and McKinney. You do have access to several highways. You have Highway 377, Highway 121, as well as Interstate 35. You're about 15 minutes to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport and only about 30 minutes to Dallas Love Field. Your commute to Dallas would be about 35 minutes to downtown Dallas and about 40 minutes to downtown Fort Worth. So as you can see, the location of Flower Mound is very favorable for a lot of folks who have to possibly commute or travel. As far as schooling, residents with children who live in Flower Mound would attend Louisville Independent School District. And Louisville has an overall accountability rating from the Texas Education Agency of an 89 out of 100, which is a B. And historically, Louisville has been in the 80s range for total accountability when it comes to education. Louisville Independent School District is made up of 62 schools and they serve over 49,000 students. There's a 13 to one student teacher ratio, which that is exceptionally small when you think about a school district the size of Louisville Independent School District. So you probably tend to get more one-on-one -on -one interaction and involvement with the teachers with class sizes that small. I do want to mention that there is a portion of Flower Mound that does feed into a different school district. And that school district is Argyle Independent School District. 
Argyle Independent School District has an overall accountability rating from the Texas Education Agency of 97 out of 100, which is an A. According to niche.com, Flower Mound's overall crime and safety rating is a B. As of May of 2024, the median price of a home in Flower Mound is $707,500. So there's not as much new construction in Flower Mound as you may see in Murphy, Texas, but the homes in Flower Mound are beautiful. They do have several neighborhoods with multi-million dollar homes that are gated in, you know, on huge lots. And you must keep in mind the location of Flower Mound. It's really close to both airports in DFW, as well as a reasonable commute to both Fort Worth and Dallas. And one of my childhood best friends lives there and they have nothing but great things to say about living in Flower Mound and they are raising three children there. Number three on the list is no surprise at all. It is Frisco, Texas. And Frisco's population is about 223,000 people. It is a very popular city when it comes to families relocating to the area. Frisco is located about 16 miles north of Dallas. You have the Dallas North Tollway that runs north and south through Frisco, but you also have Highway 380, as well as the Sam Rayburn Tollway that runs kind of like northeast and southeast through Frisco. Frisco is about a 25 to 30 minute commute to Dallas Fort Worth Airport and about a 30 minute commute to Dallas Love Field. You're about 30 minutes to downtown Dallas and about 45 minutes to downtown Fort Worth. Frisco Independent School District is another top rated school district in the Dallas Fort Worth area consistently over years. It has an overall accountability rating of a 95 out of 100, which is an A according to the Texas Education Agency. And it's made up of 72 schools and they serve about 65,000 students. According to goodhire.com, who recently analyzed FBI crime data such as violent crime, property crime, and society crime, Frisco ranked as the fourth safest city in America. And Frisco is a city of all about transparency. So they do have a link on their city website where you can look at the crime, the types of crime that are occurring throughout the city. So I think that is a great asset to have as far as if safety and crime is one of those things that are at the top of your list when you're considering a city, I would definitely utilize that tool. And honestly, I wish that more cities did have that tool as well. Now, a lot of people are attracted to Frisco because of its housing market and the options that you have when it does come to housing. As of May of 2024, the median price of a home in Frisco is $678,000. And Frisco, even with the size of the population being over 200,000 people, they still have plenty of room to grow as far as building new homes, townhomes, and you do have a variety of housing options when it comes to living in Frisco. Number two on the list is University Park. And that is no surprise to me at all. University Park is a very affluent area. It has a population of 25,029 people and the city is only 3.73 square miles. Now this is an affluent residential area and one of those big markers that you'll see in the University Park area is Southern Methodist University. University Park is located north of Dallas. It's actually just north of Highland Park, which is another city that I'm quite honestly, I'm surprised Highland Park did not make this list. So University of Park is also located between the Dallas North Tollway and Highway 75, which run parallel to each other. The distance to Dallas Fort Worth Airport is about 27 minutes and to Dallas Love Field, you're only about 15 minutes away. Now to get to downtown Dallas from University Park, it only takes about 16 minutes and your commute to Fort Worth would only be about 46 minutes. So University Park does feed into Highland Park Independent School District, and Highland Park is one of the highest ranked school districts in the state of Texas. It has an accountability rating from the Texas Education Agency of 98 out of 100, which is an A, and they have historically maintained an A average accountability rating over the years. There are only eight schools in Highland Park and they serve about 8,700 students. According to crimegrade.org, University Park's overall crime and safety rating is a B minus. Of course, you want to do your due diligence to see what types of crimes is happening in a city 
and this is one of those that would be no different than looking at any other city. As of May of 2024, the median price of a home in University Park was $2.5 million. So yes, that is a hefty amount of money when you're looking at housing compared to the median price of a home in DFW. This area is very affluent. It's going to attract your CEOs, your athletes, your business owners. So just realize that. And there's not a lot of new construction happening in University Park. A lot of the homes are kind of older historical homes. They may have been renovated on the interior, but the exterior, it kind of has that old school feel to it or old town feel to it. But lots of high end shopping options there. One of my favorite places to shop is at the plaza at Preston Center, which is technically in Dallas, but it's just right down the road. We're down to the number one city to raise a family in Dallas, according to niche.com. And that city is Coppell. So the size of Coppell is about 14 square miles, and there are about 43,000 people that reside in Coppell. So it's not a big city at all. It's not expected to have a large population boom anytime soon. In fact, its population has only increased about 2,000 people since 2015. So we do have some folks that contact us that they do not want to be in one of those cities that is projected to gain 100,000 residents. If that is the case, then Coppell may be a good city to consider. So Coppell is located just northwest of Dallas. You do have several highways that run through Coppell. You have Highway 635, you have Highway 121, and the President George Bush Turnpike, as well as 35E, are nearby. So Coppell is just northeast of the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, so you're only about seven to 10 minutes to DFW International Airport. You're also only about 20 minutes to Dallas Love Field. And I think one of the key things with living in Coppell is you're only about 25 minutes to downtown Dallas, as well as 25 minutes to downtown Fort Worth. So Coppell Independent School District is one of the higher ranking school districts in DFW. According to the Texas Education Agency, they have an overall accountability rating of an A, 97 out of 100. And they have also historically maintained an average of an A accountability rating. They only have about 16 schools and they serve about 13,000 students. According to crimegrade.org, Coppell's overall crime and safety rating is a C, and they are another city that publishes its crime in different areas of the city. So there is a place on the city's website where you can look at crime, the types of crime that are occurring. So I think that is another great tool to utilize so that when you're doing your due diligence, you can really see and dig into the weeds of what's going on in Coppell. As of May of 2024, the median price of a home in Coppell was $740,000. And you're really not gonna find a lot of new construction happening in Coppell. It is one of those cities that is pretty well established as far as being built out. So any new construction may come in the form of tearing down a current home and rebuilding or just renovating the homes that are already there. Have any questions about relocating to the area? Give me a call, text, or email, and I'll see you in the next video.